Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and by the end of the video, how to deploy the brand new and free BitGet grid bots that were just recently launched. Now, if you're not familiar with BitGet, we can jump over here to CoinGecko under the Exchange tab and click on Derivatives as BitGet is most known for their futures contracts trading. And you can see they are actually ranked number four on the top derivative exchanges over here on CoinGecko. And so they're really just behind Binance, FTX, C-Trade, and then you get Big get futures. Now we can do a little more recon and jump over here to the crypto exchanges, and that will basically be your spot exchanges. And so, as far as the top crypto exchanges ranking by trust score over here on CoinGecko, and that is going to be based on spot trading. BitGet comes in number nine. And so they're in the top 10 along with most of your big dogs like Binance, FTX, Coinbase, KuCoin, OKX, uh, Kraken. BitGet is in the top 10 with those big dogs. And at the end of the day, BitGet is actually continuing to grow. So that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get one of these new free grid bots deployed over on BitGet. So I will jump over here to my BitGet Exchange account. And if you don't already have a BitGet Exchange account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And you can get started by clicking on that link. And once you've joined BitGet and fund your account, it's pretty simple. You just click on deposit. Keep in mind, it's extremely important to transfer your funds on the correct blockchain if you're sending funds from a wallet that actually utilizes the tron blockchain that will be a lot less expensive than say the ethereum blockchain but it is imperative that you send the funds via the correct blockchain so in this case if i select tron then bitget provides me with a deposit address i just need to simply copy go to whatever wallet you want to send funds from and then you can paste this address in your wallet. Just make sure again, you're using the correct blockchain. Now, once you receive your funds, they will more than likely arrive over here in your spot account. And then if you did not send USDT, you will want to make sure you convert some of those funds into USDT because the bots primarily are deploying on the USDT pairing. And so in this case, I do have some USDT. Now I'm ready to get this bot deployed. I just jump over here to the tab that says strategic trading and click on spot strategy trading. And so that will pull up the configuration page for your grid strategy. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is select what pair you actually want to deploy the bot on. And they right now only offer four pairs, and that's BTC, ETH, XRP, and SOL. And so for today's grid bot, I will select BTC USDT. And now, as you can see in this upper left hand corner, I have BTC USDT selected. Now I can select how I want to actually configure this bot. I could select AI strategy, and the parameters are based on backtesting of history records and does not represent future revenue. Basically, backtest results don't guarantee future results. However, they do show you those backtested results for a seven day grid APY of 356%. Now, if you want to go with that, all you need to do is select the amount of your investment and then click create order. I, however, prefer to configure my bot manually myself. So I just click on manual creation. I now need to select my lowest price and my highest price. And then my strategy when I'm deploying a grid bot, especially right now in a bear market, I look for previous resistance and previous support. And in this case, the resistance would be my highest price and support would be my lowest price. So for this example, on the daily candles, I can see Bitcoin is really range bound in this zone between 32.5 and on the low side, right around 28,000. So if I put in my low price of 28,000 and my high price of 32.5, next I just needed to determine the number of grids that should be divided according to the above ranges. And so I'm going to start with, let's just say 20 grids. Now, 
20 grids, my profit per grid fees have already been deducted. So my profit would actually be 0.29% to approximately 0.40%. I prefer to get that a little higher. So I'm going to drop this down to let's say 15 grids. Now with 15 grids, my profit per grid, again, fees have already been deducted, is going to be about a half a percent to 0.67%. And so I think for this particular grid bot, I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot. However, I do want to make one adjustment on how this profit per grid is calculated. And so I need to jump down here to the advanced settings, give that a click, and then scroll down to grid order mode. And from here, I can actually select between arithmetic interval and a geometric interval for the orders. Now, the arithmetic interval means each grid has an equal price difference, while geometric interval means each grid has an equal price difference ratio. And so basically, the arithmetic interval is suitable for an upward oscillating market, while the geometric interval is suitable for a downward oscillating market or a market that moves within a narrow range. Well, if we scroll back up, you can see right now Bitcoin is basically in a downtrend for sure, but it is also trading in a very narrow range since about May 5th and we're coming up on July 11th. So for almost an entire month now, Bitcoin has been trading in a very narrow range. So in that case, I'm going to scroll back down and select geometric versus the arithmetic. Now, while we're down here, the advanced settings, I could select a trigger price if I want to bot to deploy at a specific price. I can also set my take profit when the bot hits a certain profit, it will close the bot. And same with the stop loss, I could set a stop loss. Now, since this is a spot bot, if the bot ends up buying Bitcoin the whole way down, I am actually fine with holding Bitcoin long term. So as long as it's buying at a lower price, I'm fine with that. So in this rare instance, I'm not really concerned about a stop loss, but I would only do that on probably two or three coins that I know I'm willing to hold long term for multiple years. And that'd be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and for the most part, that's it at this point in time. Now, the last option is whether to sell at termination, and I'm actually going to uncheck that because when I terminate this bot, I don't necessarily want it to sell the Bitcoin. I might decide to hold on to that Bitcoin, and if I do decide to hold the Bitcoin, I have no problem manually selling that Bitcoin, so I'm just going to leave that unchecked. And now you can see with that change to how the profit per grid is being calculated. I'm now on geometric. My profit per grid is no longer a range. It's actually set at 0.58%, which again, I'm good with. The last thing I need to do is give this bot a little bit of ammo. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it 100% of the USDT that I have available. And so now the bot has some ammo to go to battle with. I'm actually ready to scroll down and give create an order a click. Now I just need to confirm my parameters. And in this case, they do break out your coin distribution, which is kind of nice. It's going to buy some Bitcoin as soon as I deploy the bot. And the remainder of my USDT will be held for future orders. And so with that being said, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, a grid bot is made up of open limit buy and open limit sell orders. The sell orders in this example are the red lines and the buy orders are the green lines. That is what makes up your grid. And so the objective of a grid bot is to buy low and sell high. So each time the price dips, the bot takes out these open limit buy orders and is buying low. And then when that price rips back up, it takes out the sell limit orders and thus it's capturing profit as it sells at a higher price. And so when I deploy this grid bot, it will buy some BTC immediately. So it has some Bitcoin to sell if the price just starts to go up upon deployment and it will hold back some of that USDT. So I will have these open limit buy orders to, ready to be filled if the price goes down. And that is what is meant by coin distribution at opening of position.
Now the trading pair was BTC. I will earn USDT for profit. My price range is at 28,000 to 325. The number of grids I selected to have was 15. My profit per grid after fees is going to be around 0.58%. My total investments just over 100 USDT. My grid order mode was that geometric interval. I did not enable the initial price limit and whether to sell at termination is no. And so basically 0.0016 BTC will be bought when this strategy is enabled. So now I'm just going to click confirm, created successfully. And now you can see the stats for the grid bot. So I think that pretty much wraps it up. Now I will do an update video in the near future on how this grid bot is actually performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss those future videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below and I will drop a link to BitGit in the description down below. So in closing, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.